एग्जाम For sure, you will be able to attempt with full ease. Yes. Also, do like the video if if you are uh, happy with the revision sessions that are going on and want more of it. I've already told you all always that your comment is what I'm waiting for in order to come up with my next video. Now, today we are going to do the whole fate of forward contracts, which include everything. So, if you open your magic book so we will connect a little magic book also the deliveries the cancellations the extensions the delivery on due date early delivery late delivery all of that and all questions that i am going to do are going to be from your icai module because that's where icai asks the question related to fate of forward contracts from so now all i want is book pen that's it and your full concentration and easily we will be able to conquer this all of the notes will also be shared to you on telegram channel telegram channel is given in the comments box all yours let the session begin with a full josh and even if you want to watch it in parts that's absolutely okay but ensure that you are watching all of this because at least 6 to 8 marks will come in the examinations and people usually leave it an option you should not if you are planning to score good in one subject this concept is definitely that you need to do and go okay chal let the game of eight and forward contracts begin okay so here we begin the journey of fate of forward contracts so what i will be doing is i will be ensuring that all of the questions of your icai module is now being covered here so ensure that module is with you very high chances that icai will ask the question directly from here and i will cover you with all the questions that are there so are you guys with me everybody yes please ensure that you are there writing in the comment that yes sir we are here also telling me what is the next thing that possibly you would require see i need full josh from you all so that it motivates me further your positiveness will be my motivation okay chalo let's let's start with the game so fate of forward contracts what is the meaning of fate fate means destiny what is going to be the destiny of forward contracts so that is what we are going to understand in this but first let's understand what are forward contracts i know you know you guys are aware of what are forward contracts in detail but just give me an idea what is a forward contract can i say it is a currency management tool it is a currency hedging tool right used to hedge the currency risk so to say because i want to freeze the rate right now i want to freeze the rate of dollar right now i am an exporter i may be an importer i may be requiring dollars i may be selling dollars after 3 months but i don't want any risk and i want to secure myself by freezing the rate of the dollar and that is where i go to my forward contracts am i right yes sir absolutely right but as they say you know we may plan many a things in life but life will always give a new twist my grandmother my granny always always says this that you can plan whatever you want to but what is going to happen is decided by him yes definitely you have to work hard for it no doubt about that but spiritually she says that he will give the best that is in your fate in your destiny and the same thing happens with a forward contract as well we enter into a forward contract thinking that yes we will honor the forward contract as the date as the price it is said but fate may have some other plans right so there may be chances that on the day of the forward contract expiry 
I may not be able to execute it. I may not be able to honor it. And therefore, there can then come into picture a variety of things. And that is what we are going to study in this concept, fate of forward contract. So what is the variety that you are speaking of? What are the things that can happen is what we are going to study. So, so first, 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 before we move on, just write up what are forward contracts? Can I say they are currency risk management tools? They are nothing but currency risk management tools yes sir they are what what do they do what what does a forward contract do can i say forward contract essentially ensures that my currency rates are freezed for a date in future that my currency rates are freezed for a date in future yes sir but sir you are saying that yes we may plan to honor the contract as it is but 90 percent of the times as observed by the banks by the authorized dealers the contract doesn't go as thought of and that is where a uh, fedai made something called as forward contract rules now your next question is sir what 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 word did you say i said fadai sir what is fadai so fadai is fadai is foreign exchange dealers association of india and all of the fate of forward contract that we are going to study in the next one two three whatever hours is all guided and developed by FDI. What is FDI? It is Foreign Exchange Dealers Association of India. So they observed that there are three things possible. There are three things possible. So what are the three things? First is on time delivery of forward. As in, suppose if I am an importer and uh, I require dollar after three months. So, I may go today to the bank, to the authorized dealer and I will tell them that boss, I want dollars after three months. What is the rate that we are going to freeze? He says that let's freeze the rate one dollar equal to 85 as per the ongoing rates in the market. I said, okay, done. So, 85 lakh rupees I take with me after three months, go to the bank, give them 85 lakh rupees. They will give me one lakh dollars. I will send it to my exporter. This is the usual scenario, right? So this is basically called as, this is basically called as delivery on due date. Also, I may be an exporter. I will tell that, okay, I am going to get dollar one lakh after three months. What is the rate? She says, let's freeze it at one dollar equal to 86. I said, okay, done. Now, after three months, I will get one lakh dollar. I will go to the bank, authorized dealer. They will give me 86 lakh rupees. I will give them one lakh dollar and the matter freezes and the matter ends, closes. Am I right? But in nine out of 10 times, this is not going to happen. So then what is going to happen? Tell us. So that's what I'm telling you. And for all such reasons or all such things, Fadai has made some certain rules and those rules are to be followed by us. And that is what we are going to study at every juncture. Yes, everybody with me? Got it? So, what is the first best thing that is going to happen? Sir, delivery on time. For this, we don't need FADAI. For this, we don't need Sankal sir. For this, we don't even need a chartered accountant. Yeah, we don't need anybody. We have a contract with the bank. We will go to the bank, honor the commitment, game over. We don't need anybody else. But that is just 10% of the scenario. For the remaining 90% of the scenarios, you will require a chartered and that's where I will step in. Come on, let's write down. So, first is that delivery happens and it happens on due date and it happens on due date. Hey, some you do. Clear everybody? Okay, sir. What are the other situations which you are saying? Suppose now my exporter, suppose I am an importer. I told bank that bank, 
I will come to you. You give me one lakh dollar after three months. I will give you eighty five lakh rupees. But I get an urgent call from my exporter. He says, Mr. Sankal, I need immediately one lakh dollar. I am in need of money. Now we have a relationship for last more than twenty years. We are doing business, and if that person needs money. i will have to ensure that i will give him that even before he requires so what is going to happen delivery but on due date no when is the delivery going to happen then guys so now my exporter wants the delivery before due date so there will now be another possibility and what is that that is called as early delivery that is called as early delivery there might also be a possibility that on the due date i had to transfer 1 lakh dollar to my client right so what am i supposed to do 85 lakh rupees i am supposed to go take and go to the bank and give it to the bank and tell the bank bank 85 lakh rupees give me dollar 1 lakh but on the day of delivery on the due date i am not able to arrange 85 lakh rupees so i immediately call my exporter and i tell him mr exporter sir unfortunately i do not have the money right now can i give it to you later he says no problems no problems brother so what is now going to happen yes so first was earlier delivery now it is late delivery so these are the possibilities that now we will have to take care of gotcha done then what are the other possibilities next possibility is something called as cancellation something called as cancellation on the date of delivery on the date of the 3 months say today i enter into a forward contract after 3 months my importer or exporter calls me that i am not able to deliver the goods or there is going to be a war like situation between your country and my country let's cancel the contract if that contract is cancelled if our buying selling contract is cancelled correct the forward contract also will get cancelled and that basically is called as cancellation of contracts that basically is called as cancellation of contracts even in cancellation of contracts there are going to be possibilities i come on the due date and tell that okay let's cancel the contract so that is called a cancellation on due date then there is a possibility that we may tell let's cancel it early so that will become early cancellation yeah then there can be a possibility correct late cancellation right and then there is one more a, a unique concept called as automatic cancellation that is a unique concept so let us write it uniquely sir what is all of this don't worry i will explain each and everything to you so what is it this is called as unique cancellation uh, uh, automatic cancellation a unique method developed by fly okay so even in cancellation there are three possibilities cancellation on due date early cancellation or even a late cancellation and then there is this last thing called as correct extension then you have something called as extension even in this extension there are three possibilities extension could be on due date extension early what is extension so instead of today please extend it by two more months so suppose i have a contract with bank that after three months <clears throat> we i will enter into a forward contract and complete it now instead of 3 months now i want to extend it to 5 months so what is that extension of contract right now on the day 3 months are com getting completed i may go to the bank and say i want to extend it for 2 months extension on due date before only i come to know that i want to extend extension early 
and then yes so this is called as early extension and then finally there will be something called as a late extension samjhigudu got it guys so this is how fadai has developed the rules for all of this and now you and me what are we going to do we are going to do all questions on all of this delivery on due date delivery early delivery extension early extension on due date cancellation on due date early uh, early cancellation late delivery late extension late cancellation automatic cancellation all of this we will be doing via sums are you ready guys chalo so now i will pick up one one them one one of them and we will keep on completing what is fedai foreign exchange dealers association of india okay now there are few common rules of fedai which i think we will keep on discussing as and when we come but still i will want to write it here i will explain it to you when we come so common rule of fedai one of the common rules of fadai is that whenever a bank enters into a forward transaction bank enters into a forward transaction with a customer it will cover itself with an opposite transaction so suppose if the customer needs to buy dollars from the bank so bank is selling dollars in the other interbank market bank will do an opposite transaction immediately so suppose a customer suppose you are my customer wani you are my customer you come to me and say that sir after 3 months i need 1 lakh dollars so basically you want bank to sell dollar to you after 3 months bank will immediately enter into a purchase contract interbank purchase contract of 1 lakh dollar so on the day on the day what will happen i will purchase 1 lakh dollar from the forward market which i have already entered i will sell 1 lakh dollar okay my hisab zero my balance zero so fadai says that always the bank should cover itself so that on the day the customer doesn't face any problem because on the day if customer comes and the bank says oh i uh, there is a shortage i don't have 20000 dollars uh, i just have 90000 dollars 10000 dollars i will give you tomorrow so customer should not have any problem when will customer have not have any problem when i am totally covered i will immediately cover myself cover give it to you game over <laughs> so that is what they say that fedai says that always cover or offset your forward transaction should i dictate it to you usually what i do is when i am explaining the question that is when i uh, tell you this rule but now that we have discussed and you have understood hey guys please confirm are you understanding so far whatever little whatever we have done yes chalo so now let's write this down rule 1 you can say so to say rule 1 what is that covering or offsetting the transaction other things as and when they come we will write don't worry covering or offsetting the transaction what what is the rule i'll dictate whenever a bank enters into a forward transaction it has to it has to enter into a opposite transaction in interbank market the whole point being that the customer should not suffer in interbank market okay the example i can give you what i gave you all we can just write down so that when you are revising you have it with you suppose there is mr a comes to bank 
he wants to sell dollars forward sale dollar to bank so what will the bank do how will the bank cover itself correct it will enter into a forward purchase in interbank Got it, guys? So, again, uh, try and understand. Bank is selling. And therefore, here it is purchasing. Think from bank's angle. Bank has to cover. Whenever bank, remember this, bank has to cover. So, this may sound a little confusing. Mr. A wants dollar. Bank sell dollar. Okay. What will it do in forward? It will forward purchase dollar. For the same duration, same amount. Got it, guys? Mr. A wants dollars. So, bank will sell dollar. Now, if bank wants to sell dollar after three months, bank will enter into a forward purchase for three months. Got it? Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. So, this is three months. This is three months. In the middle. Done. Sure. We will now start with the question and answer. See now. ICAI. Let's open this. This is your Alma Matar. This is your Gita Bible Quran. ICAI module. Whenever any forward contract is entered, normally it meets any of the following fates. Delivery under the contract. Cancellation. Extension. But delivery also has three things. On due date early late cancellation also has three things on due date early late extension also has three things on due date early late right so now we are going to do all of this uh, one by one first is delivery on due date we have solved so many questions by delivery on due date you don't have to do anything so the bank enters into a forward contract for two months selling us dollar at 65.5 on 31st July, spot rate is whatever. We don't care. Our transaction is freezed at 65.5. Do I need to explain anything here? The answer is no. Now comes the game changer. Guys, the game changer. Full focus, full attention everybody. Because this is going to be very important. Please keep on telling me whether you guys are understanding or not. Because it is going to be very, very Crucial. Okay. Chal, we are starting. Pay attention. Early delivery. Early delivery. Okay. Now what does early delivery mean? First let's write that down. So. First. The second part was early delivery. Can anybody tell me what does early delivery mean? Sir as the name suggests. Delivery before the due date. Absolutely correct. When Kasma wants to settle the forward contract before the stipulated due date. Before the stipulated due date. Done. Okay. Chalo, let's have a question from your module. Let's start with the question from the module. And it is illustration 4. Early delivery. I hope you guys have written this. When customer wants to settle the forward. It could be purchase, sale, whatever. 
before the stipulated duty. That's the catch word. Start. On 1st October, Hmm. On 1st October 2015, Mr. X, an exporter, enters into a forward contract with BNP Bank to sell US dollar 10,000 lakh on 31st December at 65.4. However, due to request of the importer, Mr. X received the amount on 28th November 2015. What was the due date? What was the due date? 31st December 2015. Okay. When is the... Uh, due to the request of importer, Mr. X received. When is he receiving? Oh, oh on December 20... On November 28. One month earlier. Okay. Mr. X requested the bank to take the delivery of the remittance on 30th November. That is before one month due date. The interbanking rates on November are as follows. Spot is given. One month premium is given. If the bank agrees to take delivery, then what will be the net inflow to Mr. X? Assuming that the prevailing lending rate is 18%. All I need is just two minutes. Read the question. Everybody, without fail, read it at least twice. Your time starts now. Come on. Okay, so everybody has read the question. Now we will try to solve it. But before solving, we should know what is happening in life. Let's start. On 1st October, let's make a timeline. The timeline is going to be ultra crucial. Please pay high attention to it. It is not a normal timeline. Pay attention. On 1st October, X, an importer, enters into a forward contract with bank to sell dollars on 31st. Customer is going to sell. He is an exporter. So he will get dollars. He is going to sell it to the bank. Bank is going to purchase. Bank is going to purchase. What is going to be banks? Counter or cover sell dollar forward. Just giving you an idea. Chalo, let's write it down. Let's write it down. Let's write it down. First October. 1st October. What happens? Mr. Exporter enters into a forward contract with BNP Bank to sell dollar one lakh. Sell dollar one lakh. Who? Customer. On 31st December at 65.4, rate is freezed. December 31, 2015. Let's write down the date. 31st December 2015. At the rate 65.4. Done.
Today is 1st October and 31st December. So can I say October, November, December, three months forward? Three months. All the information written till here for the first line, done. Next. We have to be very, very patient when we are going to solve these kind of questions. At times we may go over slow, that's okay. But understanding is more important. Please keep on confirming, okay? Chalo, done. Hope your book pen is with you and you are also writing. If you are just listening blindly and blankly, then I am sorry to say, howsoever good I teach, howsoever smart you are, you will never be able to understand. Let me tell you point blank. A paper and a pen is a must in order to understand this with you writing each and everything. If, if, if that is not possible, stop the video now. Come back when you have all the distractions away and only you and me and module is there. Okay? Shall Let's start. Continue. Due to bank request of the importer, Mr. X received. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Another thing would have happened on this day. So, what happened? This is the bank. So, customer will go to the bank two months later. Uh, three months later from today okay what bank would have done this is let's assume this as bank a what bank a would have done guys guys i'm asking you what bank a would have done tell me tell me what a bank a would have done this is the transaction which is done by customer with the bank what else now bank a would have done correct can i say they would have covered the transaction offset the transaction how Correct. So, bank A here is going to purchase. So, it will offset by selling in interbank. Very nice money. So, bank A is purchasing. How will it offset or what you sell cover with bank B? Let's assume bank B. Buy, sell, dollar. 1 lakh on at uh, after 3 months after 3 months done deal closed which is 31st December 2015 deal closed yes or no yes done sir deal closed till here oh Rushi my boy is there Shubashi Rushi Bank A will sell to Bank B, brother. Bank A is purchasing here. See, customer is selling to Bank A. So, Bank A is purchasing. Right. It will offset by selling. It will enter into a forward sell. It will enter into a forward sell. Rushi, did you get it, my boy? It will enter into a forward sell. Okay, okay done. Next. However, due to the request of the importer, Mr. X received the amount on 28th. Mr. X requested the bank to take the delivery of the remittance on 30th November. Oh, now this customer comes to us on 30th November. And he says, please take delivery. You can't do anything. Uh, Vani is asking, sir, what is the forward rate at which bank A will sell? What is the forward rate of uh, forward sell? They have not given. Can't tell. They have not given. It's okay. 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 Chal. Now, on 30th November, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Remember, uh, your bank A is purchasing. Your bank B is selling. Uh, if you want, I can write here. Bank A purchase. Bank A sell. Got it? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Bank A purchase, bank A sell. Hmm, done. Rate at which it is going to sell, they have not given. Will not write, no problem. On 30th November now. Dum tana na na, dum tana na na, dum tana na na, dum tana na na, dum dum. 
Now, what is going to happen? Mr. X comes and tells take delivery of the remittance. Now, what does Fadai say here? What does Fadai say? Fadai says, if customer comes early, give him at the rate that was promised to him. What was the rate promised to him? What was the rate promised to him? I am asking you guys. Tell me. Can I say 65.4? Fadai says, you have to honor the commitment that you have given to the customer. You have to cover, uh, you have to close the transaction at 65.4 even if he comes early. But sir, yes, you have to do it. No questions. You have to do it. Okay, sir, as you say. Okay, done. Got it, guys. Got it, got it. So, we'll write this down. So far, what we have understood, let's write down. On 1 10 2015 too many things happening in life okay x our customer enters into forward cell with bank A, dollar 1 lakh at the rate rupees 65.4, then bank A enters into a forward purchase With customer X basically enters into a forward purchase with customer X at the rate rupees 65.4. It also covers itself in interbank market. Bank A. covers itself and enters into a forward cell with bank B. Got it? Done? Done till here? Okay. Now, what does Fadai say? What does Fadai say? If customer comes early, so Fadai rule number 2. Fadai rule number 2. I'll write it here. Please write down. If customer comes early, give him or receive from him at the original decided rate at the original decided rate rushank wait wait brother wait Hmm. So, what is the original decided rate? Okay, so we will have to honor the transaction at the original rate. What is the original decided rate, guys? I am asking you. 65.4. So, we will write here. Yeah. 
we will write here that customer sell to bank A at the rate 65.4 dollar 1 lakh. Okay. Congratulations bank A. You have entered into a customer sell transaction. Now if customer is selling to bank A. Bank A has to purchase at 65.4 compulsorily. Again, I am telling you compulsorily. You don't have an option. You are bounded by FDI rules. If customer comes early, give him or receive from him at the original decided rate. Full stop. So, okay. Done, sir. If you are saying so, it's like ICAI, ICAI, whenever it decides, you have to give an exam. You have no options. <laughs> so, what will happen now here to the bank A? Bank A will purchase dollar one lakh. At rupees 65.4. Now what will happen? Very good, Rishi. So now what will happen? Bank A has purchased dollar one lakh at the rate 65.4. Now can you guess what is going to happen? Come on, guys. Any guesses what is going to happen? I'll tell you. If bank see now today is 30th November, bank has purchased this one lakh dollar. Because customer had told already that we are going to sell. But he was going to sell it after one month. We were prepared for that. That as soon as he will sell, we will purchase. And we will immediately sell it to bank B. But now the tables have turned. Guys, now the tables have turned. He has come early. Now what do I do with this dollar one lakh? This dollar one lakh is with me on 30th November. What do I do with this? <laughs> Fedai says sell this immediately. Sell this immediately. You cannot keep this with you. This is very risky. Sell this immediately in the spot. Sir, but at what rate? Whatever is the rate prevailing, sell this immediately. Full stop. Okay, we'll do that, sir. So, when the customer wants to settle the forward contract, sorry, no. if the customer comes, Give him or receive him at the original decided rate we have done. Now what we have to do is enter into the opposite thing. So if bank has purchased, it will immediately have to sell. Bank A will sell dollar one lakh at S. P O T. What is the spot rate, guys? Is the spot rate given? Yes, it is given. But there are two spot rates available. Which one to take? So again, think logically. Think logically. I have taught you all everything. No, how to think logically? So bank A is selling the other interbank. Think from the point of view of the bank. So that other bank is the real bank here. Now this bank A has become like the customer. This bank A has become like the customer. The other bank is the real bank. So this bank A is selling. The other bank is buying. Buying is at the bid rate. What is the bid rate, brothers and sisters? What is the bid rate? It is 65 point. Choo -choo. Got it, guys. So bank A will sell. Right. Other bank will buy at bid rate. And what is the bid rate, ladies and gentlemen? Correct. It is 65 point choo choo.
it is 65 point choo choo done 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 next hmm Now what is going to happen next? Now listen. On 30th November itself, on 30th November itself, bank purchased from customer, sold this immediately in the spot. So now he, he is free. But there is one tension going in his head. And that is after one month, see, total duration is of three months. After two months, this customer has come. Now he's his mind is running that after one month, I have already a forward sell outstanding. How do I offset that? So what will he do? Today he will enter into a forward purchase. So that forward purchase one month, forward sell game over on the due date. So today what he is going to do guys, he will have to enter into a forward purchase. So today itself, uh, today itself, on 30th, all of this is happening on 30th. What is going to happen? Bank A will enter into a forward purchase. Why forward purchase? Because his forward sell is outstanding. So, after one month, forward purchase, forward sell, matter settled. So, on 30th itself, we will have to enter into a one month forward purchase. At the rate, what is the rate? What is the rate? What is the one month forward purchase rate that is going on? Again, now bank today is going to enter into a forward purchase. So, it is. If bank A needs to purchase the other bank, which is the real bank, selling, selling at ASAC rate. So at, at ASAC rate, what is the ASAC rate going to be? 65.27 plus 0 0.15, 65.42. Got it guys? 65.42. Got it? Got it? Sixty-five point two seven plus point one five. Sir, even if the spot rate on thirtieth November given, do you have to take on twentieth November the date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's just a typing thing here and there. So nothing great. Got it, guys. So again, we will just write the logic here. Uh, the bank will sell at the rate. Asakrate at the rate Asakrate. Got it, guys. Are you clear? All of this because of FedEx. Otherwise, internally we could have done something else, but it's okay. Now I don't want to discuss that and confuse you all. So it's okay. Are you clear? Done. So let's write down on 30th November. What did we do? Let's write down better because when you are going to revise, you know, things should be clear on 30th November 2015. What is going to happen? Mr. X, customer X. So easy life for him. Bank A will purchase from him as said by FedEx. So bank A purchases dollar one lakh from x at the rate rupees 65.4 done deal close then what happens to bank a guys bank a purchases 
dollar one lakh from X at the rate rupees sixty five point four. Okay, sir, clear with this. Okay, sir. Then two other things he does. After this, two more things he does. What? Sell spot. on 30th november at the rate 65.22 dollar 1 lakh done this is what we do did okay then we offsetted the transaction which was outstanding there so forward purchase one month on 30th at the rate 65.42 got it just to give you an idea we are selling other real bank buying other bank buying at bid rate so that you don't get confused and here we are buying so other bank selling at asakre gacha everybody gacha tat Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Now, done. Now, on the day, on the due date, now customer is not there. Bank and interbank is there. They will settle their transaction and game over. Now, because of this customer, hello, because of this customer, I had to bear some loss. What loss you had to bear? Fadai, you are asking, you are telling to Fadai. Hey, Fadai, because of this customer, I had to honor my transaction at 65.4, but immediately I had to sell it at 65.22. I am losing the money here. Because of this customer, I had to enter into a forward purchase of one month. Who is going to recover that money from for me? So, Fadai says, don't worry. Don't worry. You can recover this loss from the customer. Hush. You can recover this loss from the customer. Now, how much is the loss? is going to be a very very crucial calculation again students get confused here but i will ensure you don't now pay attention first thing that we have to see is something called as a swap loss so a swap loss so pay attention what is a swap loss i will be highlighting it with the yellow color this is your swap loss now what is this because of the customer on the day I had to spot sell, which was not planned. On the day I had to enter into a forward purchase, which was not planned. Both of these transactions has resulted into a profit or a loss. And based on that, I will have to take my decision as to whether I have to recover the money from the customer or not. And if you see here, there is a loss. How much loss? Very good, Rushi. The loss is approximately 20,000. How, sir? How, sir? I'll explain. I'll explain. Don't worry. So, this is what is called as the swap loss. Hmm. 
Swap loss. That is loss on account of early delivery. Now, what has resulted into a swap loss? Pay attention. Swap loss or it may also be a gain. So, on account of early delivery, what happened on 30th November, we did two things. We did spot sell. Whenever you are going to sell, you are going to get money. So, plus 65.22. At the same time, we did one month forward purchase. Whenever you are going to purchase, minus. Because money is going out. So, net loss is... Net loss is equal to 0 0.2 rupees per dollar. How? Plus 65.22 minus 65.42. Got it? Multiply by dollar 1 lakh. Finally, I will get swap loss. Rupees 20,000. Gotcha, everybody. We will recover this from the customer. We will tell the customer, Hey, customer, what? You will pay us because of you. Yes, got it, guys. Got it? So that we will recover from the customer. Don't worry. We will not leave him. We will not leave him. We will not leave him. Mm. Mm. But there is another loss that he has in, uh, that we have incurred on account of him. Pay attention to this loss because this is usually misinterpreted by the students. And what is this loss? This is interest on outlay of funds. What exactly is this? I will explain you. Don't worry. See, now Bank A was willing to purchase at the rate 65.4 on 31st December. Bank A was ready. But because of this bugger who came early, bank had to pay him 65.4 immediately. Correct. But of that, 65.22 was recovered immediately by spot selling it. So that 18,000 unnecessarily I had to incur extra for one month. I was going to incur that 65.4. But after one month. But now 18,000 extra I have incurred. That for that also bank is saying. Recover the interest opportunity cost from the customer. FedEye is saying. Don't worry. We will cap take care of everything. So now this transaction. Will be a part of. This transaction will be a part of. Interest on outlay of funds. Pay attention. Write down, write down, write down. Oh, what a sum. If I die, you are great. Now, interest. Okay, just write it here. Swap loss to be recovered from customer. <laughs> write it down, Baba. To be recovered from customer.
to be recovered from customer. Okay. Interest on outlay of funds also to be recovered. Don't worry. Sir, what if it was a profit? Then you can give it to the customer. Don't worry. Interest on outlay of funds. On date of early delivery. Extra payment for one month at the rate 18% interest. So, what is the loss? So, we will write here 65.4. I was going to give, but on the day. I had to unnecessarily give one month earlier. But that day only I recovered 65.22 also. So effectively, how much money got blocked? Rupees 18,000. Money blocked. Money blocked. So, therefore, 18,000 into 18% for one month. So, it will be Two seventy correct rupees two seventy again recover from customer. Are we clear, guys? Please confirm. Are we all clear? Got it. So two things we lost. Yes. So how much net are we going to the payment pay to the customer? That also we will write down. Don't worry. So, net payment to customer. Yeah, net payment to customer as per the original 65.4. So, at original rate 65.4 into dollar 1 lakh. Which is rupees sixty five lakh forty thousand. Okay, then swap loss and then interest on outlay. How much was his swap loss? Please write down everybody. Uh, yes, guys. Clear, everyone? Totally clear? So, again, this requires practice. But hope you are clear till whatever we have done. Please confirm.
writing see i'll share this with you uh, so you can write it later on that's not a problem but the main point is understanding we will have to understand have you understood so again the logically what all we have done early delivery till now all clear very nice early delivery what is going to happen in early delivery the customer will come early whatever rate is decided give it to him at that rate so here in this case we had to purchase the dollar because that was decided spot sell because of that spot sell we will have to now again have a one forward purchase because that interbank transaction is left open we cannot leave anything open so that other transaction is open so that is open close that that spot sell and that closing of that open transaction is called as a swap loss and because the outlay of funds has happened today i have lost my opportunity cost of 18000 into 18% that also i will recover from my client everything i have explained you everything is also written here so that if any a time you want to refer everything is written here baki you can let me know and i will help you with any doubts any time next we will move on so we are done with two things we are done with early delivery and we are done with so let's keep on ticking we are done with on time delivery on due date done early delivery done late delivery later now we will come to consolation so let's write down concept what is the concept cancellation but customers position with bank will be kept open right no customers position is closed that is offset already brother that is closed the moment he comes here which position this position with the bank of that uh, yeah all the positions are now closed rushi my boy all the positions are closed now if you observe all positions are closed so now the customer is not going to come back closed from all ends 65.4 we have already honored it on that date even though the rate is not prevalent anywhere no 65.4 rate is prevalent the fact that we have agreed to purchase it at 65.4 even though there is no rate on that date that shows that we have offset it this transaction game over so that let's move on now we start with the cancellations so concept is cancellation on due date cancellation on due date now if customer comes and tells you suppose uh you are the bank i am the customer i come to you and say that okay on the due date i come to you and say that no i don't want your forward purchase i don't want the forward sale i don't want to enter into any transaction with you i am cancelling the transaction you will feel infuriated you will feel like what the hell but customer is the king so whatever customer is saying we'll have to do so what does fadai say in this case fadai says that see cancellation usually happens in two situation what could be the reason of cancellation so let's write down that also reason of cancellation what could be the reason of cancellation so there could be two reasons of cancellation one of them is that customer is getting a better deal at spot rate it is very much possible so he will say i am purchasing at the spot i don't want the old ones so customer customer getting a better deal in spot on due date then already booked then all 
ready booked forward so one deal is this and the other may be that genuinely the import export transaction has been called off if export or import transaction if export or import transaction deal is cancelled so there is a very high probability that either of yeah so now either of the reasons whatever is the reason if they have said that they have to cancel means we have to cancel so how do you cancel this for this we have another illustration called as illustration 5 everybody come to illustration 5 again as usual i will give you all 2 minutes to read the question we will read it together and then we will move on so on 15th of january you as a banker booked a forward contract for us dollar 250000 for your import customer deliverable on 15th march 15th january to 15th feb to 15th march 2 months on due date customer request you to cancel the contract on this date quotation for us dollar in the inter bank is as follows assuming that flat charges for cancellation is 100 exchange margins 0.1 determine the cancellation charges payable by the customer chalo please do one, one favor please read the question twice and then we will start together चलो लेट स्टार्ट ओके नाउ अगेन फुल सेम वे फुल फोकस अर्लियर डिलीवरी इज स्टिल डिफिकल्ट लेट डिल आई मीन कैंसलेशन इज समी समी कमन लेट स्टार्ट नाउ वॉट इज इट सेम वे वी विल ड्रॉ द टाइमलाइन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन 
On 15th January, you as a banker booked a forward contract. What does this mean? You booked a forward contract for import customer deliverable. What does this mean? Let's write down. Let's write down. First, let's understand the meaning of this. What is, you tell me. I am waiting for you guys to comment. What does this mean? You as a banker book forward contract for import customer what does this mean you have to tell me come on i'm waiting for two minutes uh forward sell for two months from banker's point of view see for your import customer deliverable means customer is importer start thinking when the customer is importer after three months two months whatever is the date he will require dollars to send it to the to his exporter so he will have to purchase the dollars so if he has to purchase the dollars bank will have to sell the dollars bank will have to sell the dollars that's it bank sell dollars customer purchase dollars this is what it means let's write it down means our customer is importer that is he will require foreign currency in future that is one month forward purchase banker one month forward sale <laughs> okay okay money i trust you please write down guys please write down this is a very important thing because this is the start Hmm. Done. We should think from, see, think from either ways. You think from banker or think from customer. Either ways you will get the correct answer. Because one, if banker you are thinking, if it is forward sale, then it is purchased for the customer. So that's okay. Chalo, let's start now, Rushi. Yeah. On 15th of January, let me start. On 15th of January, you as a banker booked a forward contract for US dollar uh, 2 lakh 50 thousand for your import customer deliverable on 15th March at 65.3450 hold on hold on hold on we will quickly make the timelines we will quickly make the timelines so on 15th March on 15th March hmm. what is happening customer forward purchase banker forward sale Customer comes to us for one month forward purchase. At the rate rupees 65.345. Right? 
right right now this is the first line of dollar 250000 So customer has come to us one month forward purchase sixty five point three four five dollar two lakh fifty thousand done sir. Then continue on due date customer requests you to cancel the contract. Oh boy, <laughs> how can you do that, customer? On this date, the quotation for US dollar in the interbank is as follows. Now what happens is. He comes to us on due date. When is the due date? <laughs> on 15th January, you as a banker booked a forward contract. So, 15th Jan and then 15th March. Sir, so two months forward. Okay, okay. My bad. Two months forward. Okay, done. Hmm. Hmm. Due date, customer cancels. Customer cancels. Now, what is to be done? Think, 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 think. What is to be done? Yes, cancelled it. On due date only, he comes and cancels. What will happen? It's a simple thing. What will we do? We will sell him. See. Assume that the transaction goes through. Then what you would have done? He is saying I would have purchased. Correct? So, now, customer, two month forward purchase. Assume that the transaction is gone. Is going ahead. So, you have purchased. Correct. But I don't want this. Correct. Immediately sell it. Spot sell it. Hisab zero. The transaction cancel. So, you have just have to do the reversal on spot date. All you have to do is the reversal on spot date and spot rate. <laughs> Got it guys? Got it? So, so, assume transaction goes through. Therefore, customer will purchase dollars. But he doesn't want it so sell at spot that is in cancellation reverse the original transaction on the date the customer on the date, the customer comes to bank for cancellation. Comes to bank for cancellation. Got it, guys? Easy peasy, 11 squeezy. So now, now, customer sell spot. Customer sell spot. Tell me, what is the rate? Customer is going to sell spot. Bank is going to purchase. At what rate? At bid rate. Got it guys. Easy peasy. So. Therefore. Working note. Calculation of. Customer. Hey guys please confirm. Are you clear? Wani. Rushi, please everybody confirm. Calculation of customer sell spot. Rushi, have you seen my fate of forward contract Hindi wala lecture or what? Or you are listening this to the first time for the first time? Vani, tell me, are you clear? 
कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कस्टमर सेल स्पॉट ऑन ड्यू डेट ऑन ड्यू डेट विच इज फिफ्टीन मार्च सो वट विल इट बी कस्टमर इज सेलिंग मीन्स बैंक इज बाइंग एट बेड रेट स्पॉट बेड रेट विच इज सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट टू नाइन जीरो जीरो नाउ कम्स अ वेरी क्रुशियल पॉइंट विच इज वेर स्टूडेंट्स मेक अ मिस्टेक इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सम सो फार इट वॉज इजी यस so far it was easy now look here they have told that there is a exchange margin at the rate 0.10% ah uh, rushi i think you are confused please ask your question i'll clear your confusion yeah okay now what rushi is saying rushi you are thinking from the bank's angle that bank has covered in the market and all of that that is not required because what they are saying here is we just have to determine the cancellation charges payable by the customer so if cancellation charges are to be payable by the customer what bank has done in the interbank market will not matter at all so that's not a problem okay चलो नाउ यर लुक यर एक्सचेंज मार्जिन इज जीरो पॉइंट वन परसेंट थिंक फ्रॉम कस्टमर्स एंगल सी देर इज वन थिंग वेरी क्लियर इन केस ऑफ मार्जिन वेन कस्टमर इज सेलिंग देन द मार्जिन विल बी डिडक्टेड वेन कस्टमर इज बाइंग द मार्जिन विल बी एडेड आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल Suppose you are buying up. Uh, do you remember my examples of mutual fund load? I'll give the same example. Suppose you are buying. Suppose you are the customer. Okay, and as a customer, you are buying shares. There can be two situations. One, you are buying shares, and other, you are selling shares. Now, suppose if you are buying shares. Hello. suppose if you are buying shares what is it what is going to happen suppose if you are buying shares what is going to happen suppose you buy rupees 1000 per share at the rate 200 shares so you will have to pay rupees 2 lakh correct now when you are buying you have to pay pay rupees 2 lakh plus pay brokerage so margin is added margin is added margin is added but 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 guys 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 in the other flip situation when selling of shares is there then what will happen rupees 1000 shares at the rate say 200 shares are sold so rupees 2 lakh to be received but that will be deducted by brokerage so reduce brokerage reduce brokerage now here what is happening customer is selling so customer is selling means less margin at the rate 0.1% Sixty-five point two nine into point one percent. Okay, so it will be point zero six five two nine. So it will be sixty-five point two two four seven one. got it yeah so same way when you are buying dollar add margin so we can write this also 
कस्टमर बाइंग डॉलर एंड मार्जिन कस्टमर सेलिंग डॉलर लेस मार्जिन प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके टन सो वॉट इज द रेट सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट टू टू फोर सेवन वन नाउ फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल नाउ फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल वॉट इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल टेल मी गाइज वॉट इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल सो योर परचेज इज फ्रीज दैट इज एट सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ यू आर सेलिंग कस्टमर इज सेलिंग एंड वॉट इज द सेलिंग रेट नाउ सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट टू टू फोर सेवन वन सो वॉट एवर इज दिस सो परचेज is already freezed at the rate 65.345 selling is at the rate oh, sorry 65.22471 got it in this situation customer is not ha <coughs> uh, he is buying dollar at 65.345 and selling spot at 65.22471 margin adjustment wani where is the margin margin adjustment so he is selling at 65.29 but he will not get 65.29 margin will be deducted and that net you will get 65.22471 yeah so selling you are plus Selling, you are getting money. Purchase gone, so this will become a loss. How much loss? Minus zero point one two zero two nine per dollar. Multiply by two lakh. Loss is equal to thirty thousand rupees thirty thousand zero seven two point five. Right? Done. So this is the loss that the customer will have to bear. But there is also something called as a flat charges. How much? Hundred. Just add it. Nothing else. This is to be added. Add flat charges rupees hundred. so this will become therefore total loss of customer will become rupees 30172.5 got it guys any question easy peasy so this this basically concept is called as exchange difference when you offset the transaction when the customer offsets the transaction it is called as exchange difference got it so we'll write down the last thing that therefore in cancellation on due date see in early cancellation you paid swap difference and interest on outlay of funds in cancellation on due date in cancellation on due date you are paying the exchange difference all of this is summarized in the magic book just telling you so even if here you are not writing that's okay we have our magic book that will do the magic for you exchange difference okay what is it the customer takes an opposite position of forward and closes the deal by paying if loss or receiving if gain 
Got it, everybody? Any doubts? Done. What about banker's position in interbank market? You don't have to do anything because they have to. We have to answer from the customer's point of view, and that's what we will do. Okay, so Vrushi has a doubt. Vrushi brother has a doubt that sir, what about the banker's position of interbank? How is it offset? I'll tell you. See, the first assumption that we are saying here is that the customer, the customer assume that the transaction goes through. So, if the transaction goes through, what will happen? Two month forward purchase is there. So, it is as good as that customer is buying that from the bank. And if it is buying, the so bank is selling in the inter market. Bank is purchasing. So, in the inter market, bank will purchase in the customer to the customer he will sell interbank and bank over bank will then sell it in the spot over transaction that's how it works so for the customer's angle he bought it at the agreed price he sold it in the market at spot this is the difference from the banker's angle it is as good as a typical transaction which is taking place so from the banker's angle there is no per, uh, you know profit or loss from the customer's angle it is which is bearing Got it? So, in this federal rule, we need to customer, focus on customer only. By default, it will be customer only. Because for the bank, it is like a normal transaction. Because it is assumed in cancellation that customer is going through with the transaction. And then he will offset it in the spot. So, if he is going ahead with the transaction, he is purchasing it with the bank. Bank will sell it in the interbank. In short, the bank's position will close. So, bank has no tension in cancellation. Customer has the cancellation charges and he will have to bear that because he will have to, uh, you know, offset it in the spot, so to say. Got it? Got it? Vrushi, got it? Clear, clear. Great, 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 great. So, so with this, we complete another concept Cancellation on due date. Cancellation on due date. Now got it. Okay. Great. 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 Okay. So, we are done with cancellation on due date. And, and uh, so, we are clear that in cancellation on due date or any cancellation, exchange difference is to be borne by the customer. In case of bank, he is not concerned at all. In cancellation is tension free because it is assumed that the customer goes ahead with the transaction. So, if he goes ahead with the transaction, bank is done with the customer, he will offset it with the interbank. The customer then has to offset the position of the loss or gain customer will bear. Game over. Next is early cancellation. This was cancellation on due date. Now, early cancellation. Okay, what is going to be early cancellation? We will start with an illustration for this and it is illustration number 6. Let's start. You as a banker has entered into a 3 months forward contract with your customer to purchase AUD 1 lakh at the rate of 47.25. However, after 2 months your customer comes to you and requests the cancellation of the contract. On this date, quotation for AUD in the market is as follows. Spot one month forward. Determine the cancellation charges payable by the customer. Now seems so easy. All you have to do is just make it on the timeline and things will automatically work. You have entered into a three months forward contract. You as a banker has entered into a three month forward contract with your customer to purchase AUD one lakh. Customer is selling. You are purchasing. So let's start. Date is not given. <laughs> so, three month. So, customer is there. He enters into a three month. Hello. He enters into a three month forward contract with your customer to purchase AUD. Banker purchasing. Customer selling.
in case of cancellation it is only the customer who is going to lose so always think from customer's point of view okay rushi my boy yeah so 3 month forward sale contract of how much aud 1 lakh 47.25 on due date what is going to happen on due date no before due date only this person comes no however after two months <laughs> so after two months only this customer comes and says after two months your customer comes to you and request cancellation on this date the quotation for aud in the market is as follows now what we will say him you will say him, okay this is a case of early cancellation we will same assume that you are going to per, you are going to sell us so do a reverse transaction after one month one month is left no one month is left no so that way so to cancel or to offset bank will tell customer to bolo what will happen forward sale will be offset by forward purchase but not now after one month so we will tell customer you please enter into a one month forward purchase Done. 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 You please enter into a one-month forward purchase. Please enter into a one-month forward purchase. Gotcha, everybody. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Done. So, chalo, let's close the deal. After two months, what will happen? Customer enters into a two month, sorry, one month forward purchase. One month forward purchase. So, how much is it? How much is the one month forward purchase? You want to purchase, bank will sell at 47.5200. Customer purchase, bank sell at ask rate at 47.5200. Done. I think the deal is clear. So as soon as he comes, I will tell him, don't worry. Immediately buy a one month purchase. Game over. Chalo. Tata bye bye. He'll go. Okay done. Okay done. So his forward sale is already booked. His forward purchase now we have booked for him. There is no margin in this question. So it becomes easy. So for customer enters into a one month forward purchase. 47.5200 minus 47.52. Forward sale. 47.25 plus 47.25. So will result into a 
लॉस पर एयूडी रुपीज लॉस पर एयूडी सो रुपीज जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन पर एयूडी मल्टीप्लाई बाय डॉलर वन लैक विल गिव अस रुपीज ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड So this is loss of customer. Please write down. Please write down. So see what all we are done. Let's keep a note. No, what all we are done. Chalo. Let's keep a note here. Just a moment, guys. What all we are done? We are done. We are done. Yeah. Are we done cancellation on due date? Yes, sir. Are we done can early cancellation? Yes, sir. Are we done delivery on due date? Yes, sir. Early delivery. Yes, sir. Now we will go to extension, and we will do extension on due date and early extension, and then whatever late, late, late things are there that we will do directly by one sum. Will profit to bank be transferred to customer? Yes. Yes, Rushi. Sure. Now we go on to the next concept. Okay, and that is extension on due date. On due date, he comes and says, "I want to do extension." So it's pretty simple. It is as good as cancellation plus new extension contract. This is this extension on due date or in extension. In extension, simple. What happens is cancellation. On due date plus new forward contract. Simple. In extension, the concept is simple. Very very simple. Sorry. Very very simple. What is it? Cancellation on due date plus new forward contract. Please copy this down. Please copy this down. Come on. Written guys, written. What does extension mean? It basically means that customer wants to execute it at a later date. Fair enough, no problem. We can write if you want. We can write. What happens in extension? We have written. What is extension? You want? I can dictate it to you. Write down. extension means customer wants to execute the contract at later date okay we will start with illustration 7 
we'll start with illustration 7 come on open wow all i see are illustrations are being done come on my boy let's start easy first do cancellation then do extension let's start suppose you are a banker of one of your export customers export customers will come to you and sell dollars bank will buy dollars customer sell dollar has booked a us dollar forward cont sale contract for two months with you at the rate 65.2 simultaneously you covered yourself in interbank at 65 2.59 however on due date after two months your customer comes to you and requests for cancellation of the contract and wants extension of the contract by one month on this date the quotation is as follows Determine the extension charges payable assuming margin of 0.1%. Ideally, you should solve this sum. With the knowledge now that you have got, ideally, you should pause the video and you should solve this sum. I will go ahead with the flow, but ideally, you should solve it. Chalo. What is this question? Extension on due date. Extension on due date. Uh, suppose you are a banker and one of your export customers. So export customer will do forward sale. So export customer. Remember, in cancellation and extension, bank will not lose anything. So always think from customer's point of view. From the customer's point of view. Export customer. Two month forward sale. What dollar one lakh sixty five point two five two dollar one lakh. This is freeze freezed. Hmm. Now what will happen? Two months later, customer comes to you and cancellation. So this was a two months. So extension on due date is coming. So two months cancel plus extend. First cancel. How do you cancel? How do you cancel? Reverse the transaction. So two month forward sale. Purchase spot. How do you cancel, reverse the original transaction, how are you going to do that, how are you going to do that, so two month forward sale. 62.52 but now on the date only he had come no? so spot so it's like on it's like this that the transaction is going through so bank is saying i am going to sell you boss you are an expo uh, two month forward say so he is telling you sell it to me man i don't care you sell it to me but are, where do i get it from i don't have you purchase spot and then sell it to me so he is now purchasing at spot. <laughs> okay. Customer is purchasing. Bank is selling at a secret. Always, when you are clear with the concepts, things will always match. Don't worry at all, ever. 62.68. And then there is a margin of 0.1%. Okay. So 62.68 minus 0.1%. Whenever. Customer is purchasing. Uh, so bank is selling. Customer is purchasing. Whenever customer is purchasing, add the margin. Add the margin. So we know that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Spot purchase. So when we go to the bank to purchase, bank will sell at ask rate. What is the ask rate? Just a moment. 68, sorry, 
Oh, trick question, trick question by ICAI. <laughs> so we are correct. In terms of concept, we are correct. Bank will sell at ask. But let me tell you the trick part here. They have purposely inversed the, they have purposely inversed the bid rate and ask rate. <laughs> Always ask is greater than bid. So, 62.72. Ask greater than bid. 62.72 ask. 62.68. Bid. Okay. So, from 62.72 minus 0.1%. So, it will be how much? Sorry. 62.65728. 62.783. Oh, you are purchasing. So, add, sir. Add. What you are doing, sir? Are you sleeping, sir? You want a coffee? Yes, yes. I want filter coffee. 62.72 plus 0.1 percent. 62.78272. Okay, 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 guys. Come on. 62.78272. Remember, up uh, customer purchasing. So if you want, I'll write that also for you. Customer purchase. Margin add. So, done. So, it will be how much? So, this is a loss. Point two six two seven two. Multiply by US dollar one lakh. Hmm. So works out to how much? Twenty six two seventy two. How are you? Done. Rushi, 26272. Now, extension is left. Cancellation is done. Extension is left. So, now extension. Extension will be, they want for, how much extension they want? By one month. Extend by one month. Extension by one month. Okay. So, let's start. So, it will be one month uh, forward sale again you will have to take a forward sale contract. So, one month forward sale. Let's start. One month forward sale. Remember, you are selling, customer selling, bank buying, bank is always buying at bid rate, what is the bid rate, 62.64, 62.64, whenever customer is selling, margin reduce. Margin reduce when customer selling 0.1%. So, this will become how much? 62.57736. This is a new contract. New contract. Got it? Done. Done, done, done. Done.
चल क्लियर नाउ सो एक्सटेंशन ऑन ड्यू डेट इज डन वॉट इज लेफ्ट एक्सटेंशन बिफोर ड्यू डेट देन आफ्टर ड्यू डेट लेट कैंसलेशन लेट डिलीवरी ऑल ऑफ दैट विल डू इट टूगेदर इन द लास्ट सम ओके चलो नाउ वी आर ऑलमोस्ट ऑन द सेकेंड लास्ट सम वाओ सो गुड ना स्लोली स्टडीली वी आर नाउ ऑलमोस्ट ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ कंप्लीशन एक्सटेंशन बट बिफोर ड्यू डेट extension before due date hmm. and that is what we call illustration 8 illustration 8 so let's start with the illustration 8 everybody focus everybody focus on illustration 8 very easy again so first extension before due date what we have to do first cancel then extend simple okay so we'll start suppose you as a banker entered into a forward purchase contract you are purchasing bank a customer is selling dollar 50000 on 5th march with an export customer for 3 months at the rate 59.6 on the same day you also covered yourself in the market see we are not not concerned in case of extension and in case of cancellations we are not concerned with the banker what he is doing we are just concerned with the customer our on 5th may your customer comes to you and request extension of the contract on 5th july on this date 5th may quotation for us dollar is as follows assuming a margin of 0.1% on buying and selling determine the extension charges payable by the customer and the new rate quoted to the customer okay so extension is going to happen buying and selling both margin is 0.1% new rate that we have to quote to the customer also say so now from 5th march to 5th april 5th may 5th june but customer comes on 5th may early asks for extension early extension let's start let's start let's start let's start let's start let's start so 5th march okay what happens customer comes for forward sale export customer will come for forward sale so customer for 3 months at the Yes, guys. First, apply early cancellation, then new contract for remaining period. Awesome, Prushi, well done. Now, the this will expire on three months. No, so March to April, April to May, May to June. So fifth June. okay so what happens in 5th may what happens due date 
cancel after one month so how will you do how will you cancel on due date no not on due date earlier than due date early cancel plus extend cancel plus extend so what we will happen cancel what will you do one month forward purchase and extend when you want extension contract to 5th july so on 5th may 5th may to 5th june 15th to 5th july so extension will be for two month forward sale on 5th may this is what you need to do on 5th may this is what you need to do so let's start on 5th may what we will do cancel so to cancel forward sale due after one month we will we will do one month forward purchase today that is 5th may we will do one month forward purchase today that is 5th may i have already written here because we have a forward sale after 3 months but after 2 months we come so now one month is left So now what will happen? One month forward purchase. So customer purchase. Bank sells at ask rate. Okay. What is the one month forward sale? Mm, on 5th May, we need a, on 5th June, we need forward, so ask, ask is 59.2425, this is very crucial, guys, if you don't understand this thing, no, there is for sure going to be a mistake, so please take care of this, customer is purchasing at 0.1%, life becomes so easy, when concepts are clear. Isn't it? So 59.2425 plus 0.1%. 59.30. 17. 59.3017. Clear. Deal clear. Now, what are the final charges that he had to pay? Cancellation charges, so to say. Forward sale. Forward purchase. His sale was freezed at 59.6. His purchase now is at 59.3017. He has made a profit. Woohoo! How much? Yeah, 0.2983. Multiply by all of this for fifty thousand dollars. So fifty thousand. So it will be rupees one four nine one three. Got it? Gain to customer. Done. And now do the extension. Do the extension. How the extension is to be done? We are written in the summary only. He wants on 5th May, the transaction to be executed on 5th July. May to June, June to July. Two month forward sell. Original, right? So, two month forward sale. 5th May, 
फिफ्थ जुलाई वॉट इज हैपनिंग फॉरवर्ड सेल कस्टमर सेल बैंक बाय बैंक विल बाय एट द बेड रेट सो इट विल बिकम फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री कस्टमर इज सेलिंग मार्जिन टू बी रिड्यूस फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री माइनस पॉइंट वन सेंट फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन जीरो फोर दिस इज द न्यू एक्सटेंशन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अच्छा एवरीबॉडी प्लीज प्लीज ऑल योर्स Any doubts, guys? Please confirm. Are we all clear? Totally, totally. Please confirm, guys, because now we are just left with the last sum and almost the last concept. Early cancellation, cancellation before due date. All of those are done. Now just the late things are left, which will be managed by ICI through one sum itself and will be through. Sure. Yes, done, 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 done. Okay, Wani has a question. Wani, sir, one, sir, can you explain what to do about cover contract in case of early cancellation? Is it treating like cancellation on due date? Yes, absolutely. So in extension also the same thing will happen. So the cover will not get affected at all because it is assumed that customer will come on the due date, will do what he is required to. So suppose here if there is a forward sale. so if here there is a forward sale the customer will do a forward sale for that he will he has already purchased he has already entered into a one month forward purchase on due date he will do a forward purchase forward sale to the bank interbank transaction will also happen so that will happen the way it was and now we come to the last concept called as cancellation automatic cancellation late cancellation all cancellation let's write it down and the most challenging one as well need all your focus here everybody look into my eyes everyone automatic cancellation okay so no what is automatic cancellation so if the customer does not come at all suppose the due date is 5th june 5th june we expect him to come suppose the customer does not come at all you wait till 6 you wait till 7 you wait till 8 after 8 you will not entertain the client but till 8 for 3 days fedai says that even if customer comes within those 3 days after the due date still honor his commitment still honor his commitment fair enough so that is the concept of automatic cancellation previously it used to be 15 days now they have reduced it to 3 days let's write down if the customer if the customer does not come till 3 days after due date till 3 days after due date the forward contract stands automatically cancelled stands automatically cancelled chalo let's start come to illustration 9 with all the focus you can 
pause the video if you are not focused please come with all the focus in your life come let's start okay before that just to give you an idea guys uh, i hope you have visited our website I hope you have visited our website webuk.in. I'll telling you why because there are a lot of good things that we have added. Especially it will be helpful to you for your examinations. Wait, I'll show it to you. Okay, suppose you visit this website webuk.in. You can click on to the test series. Say you can click on to the final test series, product type, say MCQ test. Okay, just an example. And once you go into this MCQ test, once you give this thing, fill in, you are eligible for free MCQ test. Okay, for AFM, for FR, for audit, for DT, for everything, for IDT, everything we have put in. So just try to give it once. I'll give you the code if you want. Uh... I think the code I have is what? Let's try. So I do is add to cart. I'll have to you know log in and everything. But just try whenever available. Chalo. Now we are coming to illustration 9. Focus. Okay. Sure. An importer booked a forward contract with his bank on 10th April for US dollar 2 lakh due on 10th June at the rate 64.24. Done. The bank covered its position in the market at 64.28. Wait, 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 wait. First two lines we have understood. It is better we write it down. <laughs> it is better that we write it down. So on what happened? On 10th April, importer booked a forward contract with bank. So, on 10th April, the there is a customer who came to us on 10th April. There is a customer who came to us and booked a, he was an importer. So, basically a buy contract. He will need to buy dollars and send it to America. So, 10th April, US dollar, buy contract for 10th June. Two month. Forward buy. At the rate. 64.4 hmm? and bank covered at the rate 64.28 listen 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 let's write the bank thing also here itself so there is a bank let's say there is a bank x if customer is taking a two month forward buy this bank is giving a two month forward sell so two month forward sell at the rate 64.4 and then they have said that the bank is covering itself so cover position cover come on charlie check one two three cover the position so cover position bank y say we are covering it with bank y We are covering the position with bank. We are covering the bank position with bank. Why? So now bank. Why? What will happen? It is entering into a two month forward purchase. At the rate. At the rate 64.28. At the rate 64.28. Listen now properly. Customer buy. Bank sell. Bank cover. Forward buy. Got it? Forward purchase. At the rate 64.28. 
first line is what we have covered. Exchange rate for interbank market on 10th June and 13th June were. So, this is just the rate given. Exchange margin at the rate 0.1%. Done. Interest on outlay of funds 12%. Importer request rate. So, this question will have exchange difference. This question will have swap loss. This question will have interest on outlay of funds. You name it and it's there. Chalo, let's start. The importer requested on 14th June for extension of contract. This has extension with the due date on 10th of August. Now, this is a typo error by ICAI. So, please write down your 13th August. Because if he comes on 14th August, 14th August, 14th June, 10th April to 2 months. So, 10th June it is expiring from 10 to 11, 12, 13. Till 13th June we will may wait. If he comes on 14th June, if he comes on 14th June, we will give him a choke slap. <laughs> or we will give him a rock bottom. <laughs> so he cannot come on, in short, he cannot come on 14th. He has to come on 13th. Got it? Okay. So this is 13th. For extension of contract. Okay. Rate should be rounded off for 4 decimals in 0 0.0025. Okay. On 10th June, bank swaps by selling spot and buying one month forward. Okay. Calculate cancellation rate. Okay. Now, let's start. What happens is this. See, ideally, he should have come on 10th June because we are ex the, uh, the whole contract is expiring on 10th June. Correct? So, let's write down here. Due date. Is 10th June. Due date is 10th June. You on 10th June. So, due date is 10th June. Please confirm. Are you guys with me? Yes. Not, he should have come down 10th June. But this bugger comes on 13th June. Oh, jeez. My goodness gracious. Now, just imagine. If this is a question... We know that he has come on 10th, 13th June. But think from the banker's point of view. Boy, banker does not know, know that he is going to come on 13th June. 10th June, the due date has come. I am waiting. Now he will come. Now he will come. Now he will come. He is not coming. 10th June, the date has gone and he has not come. What will happen? There is going to be few things which automatically by default we will have to do. Which we will have to do. Because he has not come on 10th June. Fadai says wait till 13th June. But Fadai also says that okay, but your due date has come. Your due date has come. Right? So now on 10th June, this bank Y is waiting for me now. See, ideally I was planning to forward sell to the customer he was planning to buy. Once I sell it, how do I sell it? I will have to buy it from the bank Y, sell it to the customer. On that 10th June, bank Y will sell it to me. I cannot say anything. Bank Y will sell it to me for sure. Yes, that is going to happen. So now I will dictate it to you. Don't worry. So on 10th April, what has happened? Customer has come to bank X for customer is doing forward buy. Bank X forward sell. Then from bank X to bank Y. Bank X to bank Y. Forward purchase. Right? So, customer is doing for, forward buy. Bank X is doing forward sell. With bank Y, it is doing forward purchase. On 10th June, customer does not come. Oh, now what will happen? Interbank 
ट्रांजेक्शन विल हैव टू बी ऑफसेट फर्स्ट इंटर बैंक ट्रांजेक्शन विल हैव टू बी सेटल्ड विल हैव टू बी सेटल्ड यू कैन नॉट से नो टू इंटर बैंक इंटर बैंक विल से नो आई डोंट केयर विद योर फनाई रूल्स दैट वेट फॉर थ्री डेज एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट आई वांट माय मनी I want the contract to be executed, Your Honor. Is what the bank Y will say. The bank Y will say. Sorry, I'm just getting into the uh, the character. I I hope uh, you understand. That's how it is. Bank Y says, I want my transaction to be executed. So what is the transaction? Two month forward purchase. No worries. No worries. No worries. So bank Y will sell. Basically, so see here. Bank X forward sell with customer, and Bank X. This is again <laughs> little confusing. See here, we will better to write it down. Better to write it down. Customer enters into a forward. कस्टमर एंटर्स इनटू अ फॉरवर्ड बाय किसके साथ विद बैंक एक्स व्हाट अबाउट बैंक एक्स बैंक एक्स एंटर्स इनटू अ फॉरवर्ड सेल विद कस्टमर एंड आल्सो एंड आल्सो Bank X enters into a forward purchase with Bank Y. So Bank Y will now sell to Bank X. So this is Bank X forward purchase with Bank Y. So now what will happen? He has come. He has come. Who bank Y? What has happened with bank Y? So bank X enters into a forward purchase with bank Y. Means bank Y will sell to us to bank X at whatever rate is decided. So he has come now. What to do? Execute. First write it down. Before I move ahead, write it down because otherwise overheads. So please write this down. Write this much down first. Come on. Okay, so we are done, sir. Now bank will come. Now bank uh, Y will come and sell, boss. Let's execute the deal. Bank X enters into a forward purchase, so bank Y will sell. Hmm. So bank Y, or let's write down bank X. Purchases forward from bank Y at what rate? Sixty four point two eight because that is what was decided. Done. Now listen carefully. This execution of contract will be done. This this thing will be done. Now suppose if I am bank X, bank X purchases forward from bank Y. Now I have purchased this one lakh dollar forward. I have purchased this. What do I do of this one lakh dollar? My plan was I will purchase it and I will sell it to the customer, and then customer will buy from me. But that customer bugger has not come. 
what do i do of this you tell me what do i do of this guys you tell me what do i do of this correct cannot keep it with yourself you will have to immediately sell it off so so because now the customer has not come i will have to do a spot selling i will have to do a spot selling spot sale on 10th june of this forward purchase i will have to do a spot sale at the rate hello hello at the rate what is the spot sale 10th june the today is 10th june ah huh? 10th june spot sale so if you are selling bank is buying bank is buying at the bid rate 63.8 at the rate 63.8 right so spot sale means bank buying always at bid rate always at bid rate got it sir got it got it got it got it got it done done are done done so spot sale is done so transaction close here yes transaction with bank y close he comes i he sells to me i purchase from him bank y goes now what do i do of this dollars 1 lakh dollar is in my hand i will spot sell done matter close there now for dai says that even if the customer comes on 13th of june you have to execute his contract now i don't have an outstanding or a cover position for 13th june enter into a cover position for 13th june yes that's the real catch that's it this is a thing that students don't understand but i'm sure you now are clear with the flow because our base concepts that we have developed are so strong trust me this is nothing less than a very very easy thing for you now got it guys so spot sell and the matter closes but if he comes on 13th june i will have to do the transaction if i have if if he comes on 13th june there is a forward buy with him i have to sell him the dollars but from where will i sell the dollars to him i don't have the dollars enter into a forward purchase for 13th june <laughs> okay so now forward purchase who will do bank x for on 10th june for 13th june got it got it guys so now i this is like a cover this is like creating a cover cover if that person comes that bugger comes then because of that bugger so many things i have to do that's it that's how it works so now tell me what is going to be the rate the rate is going to be like a very very important game changer in your understanding so tell me what is going to be the rate now forward purchase on 13th june but we are entering on 10th june for 13th june tell me what is going to be the rate chalo let's go to the question and let's see what will be the rate okay so now let's start we want to purchase forward the other bank is going to sell at ask rate okay ask rate now which ask rate to take which ask rate to take there are two spot june spot june 10th june or spot june 13th june now what is this spot june what is this spot june so spot june is after 3 days kind of a thing this is like after 3 days kind of a thing so so now on 10th june what is going to be the ask rate for this spot june it is going to be 63.95 got it now why are you not taking this rate sir why are you not taking this rate i'll tell you this spot june tells me that even if he comes on 11th even if he comes on 12th even if he comes on 13th midday this rate is applicable for all of the transactions this specifically is of 13th june 
who knows he is going to come on 13th june only if he comes on 12th june then then that rate is not applic this rate is not applicable for 12th june so for 12th june this rate this spot june this is like a, a general rate that whenever he comes you can give him this rate and therefore we will take spot june spot june for ask rate 63.95 are you understanding guys Got it. So again, here also we can explain the logic. We purchase bank sell at a secret. Here we can write we sell bank buying at bid. Chalo, done. Now that bugger comes on 13th June and asks for extension. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so now we will have to cancel and extend. Late extension, late cancellation. So now here, what is going to happen? Customer comes. What is going to happen? Extension. Extension is going to happen. Cancel plus extend. So we'll just write down extension is going to happen. Check. Oh. The diagram is complete. The question is still left. Hello, wait. Are you first clear with the whole diagram? Now, what is the extension rate that we'll see? But are you now clear with what all has happened? What all has transpired? Please write it down. Any doubts, please ask. If not, we'll move on. Shalom. Now, we are at the last stage, guys. Last stage. Just be so happy that we are at the last stage. Okay. Calculate. What is that last stage? And that is cancellation, I mean calculation of all the things that ICA has asked in the question. And the first is cancellation rate. Tell me, what is the cancellation rate? What is the cancellation rate? Now, I'll tell you. See, all of the things will have to be from the customer's angle because who is going to bear all the cancellation cost and everything? The customer. Correct. So, now the customer will walk into the bank on 13th of June. When he walks into the bank on 13th of June, start thinking what is going to happen. Start thinking what is going to happen. So, he will walk. He will say that I want to cancel the contract. And then extend it. So as soon as he says, I want to cancel. Achha, cancel and extend. Now wait, I'll write it. As soon as he says, I want to cancel the contract. As soon as he says, I want to cancel.
customer comes tells that cancel and extend so now if he comes cancels and then he wants to extend then what will it be it will be cancellation so what will it be cancellation rate from customers angle from you will have to think from the customers angle so tell me what will it be you will have to think from the customers angle Tell me. Now, you have to think from the customer's angle. What is going to happen? So, suppose. Now, let's start thinking. On 13th of June, the customer will go to the bank and say, I want to cancel. As soon as he says cancellation, what goes into your mind? There is a reverse transaction which will cancel it. There is going to be a reverse transaction which is going to be cancel it. So, let's reverse the transaction. At what rate is going to be the cancellation rate? Chalo, I'll, I'll dictate to, to you. I'll dictate it. Got it, guys? I was waiting for you all. Perfect. Perfect. So, answers you have given is absolutely correct. So, on 13th of June, I'll dictate it and then we'll connect it. On 13th June, the customer... will go to the bank and say I want to cancel and extend the contract On 13th June, the customer will go to the bank and say, I want to cancel and extend the contract. As soon as cancellation has to happen, what will happen on that day, on 13th June? It will have to be cancelled on 13th June. Correct? So, how will you cancel it? You will assume that the transaction has happened. What was the original transaction? Forward buy. You will assume forward buy has happened. So, customer will buy. But customer will say, no, I, what do I do of this? I don't want it spot sell reverse so that spot sell on 13th june spot sell on 13th june will become your cancellation rate will become your cancellation rate so let's write down that is open contract of customer that is open contract of customer will be cancelled open contract of customer will be cancelled by Offsetting with opposite contract. Correct. 
so open contract of what is the open contract of customer so open contract of customer what is it what is it it is forward by so by basically it is forward by okay how will you close it offset or cancel with opposite transaction spot sell spot sell offset or cancel with opposite transaction spot sell done on 13th june so on 13th june what is happening we have to cancel the open position how will we do that come on so there is a forward buy we will have to do a spot sell tell me what is the spot sell rate if we want to spot sell bank will buy so we'll have to take the bid bid on 13th june is 63.68 got it so see here see here customer spot sell that is bank by at bid rate what is the bid rate on 13th june bid rate on 13th june 63.68 correct now see here customer is selling customer is selling bank is buying so if customer is selling pay attention customer is selling so what will happen margin is to be reduced in when sales happen so 63.68 minus 0.1 percent margin so okay so 63.68 minus 0.1 percent will become Got it? Now listen to me very carefully. Very important point they have made. Huh? Exchange margin at the rate 0.1% taken care of. See here. Rates to be rounded off to 4 decimals in multiples of 0.0025. Yes, that point has to be taken care of. 
So here we will say that. So what is happening here? Sixty one point sixty one point six one. Sorry, sixty three point six one six three. Right now, multiple of zero zero two five means either two five five zero seven five one zero. So this is closest to seven five. So the final answer will be sixty three point six one seven five. Close to zero point zero zero seven five. Done. So this is your cancellation rate. Basically, this is your cancellation rate. And what is it? Sixty one point six. One seven five. Actually, you will get marks only when you write sixty three point six one seven five. Done. First part is done. Now the second part. Are we clear till here? Yes. Amount payable on dollar two lakh. Now listen. This is basically exchange difference. See here. So there is a forward buy, which we will have to execute. Then there is a forward sell, spot sell, which we will have to execute. As a result of this, what is the loss that we are going to make? We will have to write. So we will write here forward by at original rate forward by at original rate. So what is going to be the forward by at original rate? Sixty four point four. Sixty four point four. Now spot sell. Sixty three point sixty three point six one seven five. Okay, so buy minus spot sell. Plus, got it? Okay. So now the difference. Tell me, what's the answer? So it will be one fifty six five hundred will be the cancellation charges. Okay, yes, perfect, done. Please ensure that this working is very clear to you, ah, guys. Please ensure that this working is very clear to you. So this becomes your cancellation charges.
Dan Sorry. Dan Now, the next part, swap loss. Guys, please keep on confirming huh? so that I don't feel that I'm going fast or slow or whatever. Done. The second part is also done. I'll just write here, cancellation charges. Now, third is swap loss. Start thinking. Because the customer did not come on 13th of, uh, on 10th of June, what you had to do? Because the customer did not come on 10th of June, what you had to do? You had to do a spot sale and you had to do a forward purchase. That is your swap loss. I hope now you are comfortable with this. I hope now you are comfortable with this, right? So third is swap loss. Swap loss. So I will just, I just write here when the customer, when the customer did not come on 10th june we had to do two things what are they yes that will become a part of swap loss one spot sale and the other forward purchase right so spot sale and the other forward purchase right okay spot sale was at what price 63.8 purchase was at 63.95 so write down Spot sale. Sale means money is coming in. Purchase means money is going out. So we will get a swap loss. Minus 0.15. Multiply by dollar two lakh. We will get total swap loss thirty thousand. Got it, guys? Total swap loss thirty thousand. Now, the next, next is interest on outlay of funds. Chalo, let's calculate that also. See, this is the re cash flows which is affected. So, what has the cash flow affected? How has the cash flow been affected on 10th of June? Tell me, think and tell. How has the cash flow been affected? So, see here, on 10th of June, because that customer did not come, what happened is I will have to purchase forward at 64.28, correct? 
and I sold it also. I sold it also at 63.8. So I got money. What about the forward purchase by bank on 10th June? This is this is it, brother. Rushang, pay attention. This is that 10th June forward purchase. Forward purchase. 10th June. This is that forward purchase, brother. Spot sale 10th June. And now, no, that position is not open. That position is not open. This forward purchase, this customer will now have to buy. Forward buy. He will have to buy this. So that position is not open. So my forward purchase I have taken on 13th June. Customer comes on 13th June. I will give it to him. The customer will have to buy. Now he will cancel it by spot selling. So that position is not open. Don't worry, brother. Chalo. Now we are calculating interest on outlay of funds. So interest on outlay of funds, this will be based on this bank X forward purchase and spot sale. Forward purchase and spot sale. So what is the forward purchase rate? It is 64.28. Spot sale 63.8. So essentially we have earned, I think, yeah, we are making a profit. We are making a profit of how much rupees, whatever it is, we will calculate. Because on this date, the real 64.28 I will have to pay to the bank and I have actually sold it also. So I have earned 63.8. So net extra that I have earned, I will earn interest till the customer comes. So let's write that down for three days probably. So next is interest on outlay of funds. So, what is this? This is the real inflow or outflow. Real inflow and outflow. Huh? So, real inflow and outflow on due date. On due date. That is money stuck on account of that. So, there are two things. Purchase forward 64.28, spot sale 0.48 oh we are losing losing money oh i thought we are earning money we are losing money 0.48 we are losing so minus 0.48 96000 but for 3 days 12% is the rate, 3 by 360 days, whatever. So they have not said 360 or 365, you can take either. So this is how much. It is rupees 96. It is rupees 96. Yes, so 96 will be my interest on outlay of 
funds. Okay, I thought it was inlay, but it is actually outlay. One has a question. Suppose if we are getting plus, then what? In case of cancellations, nothing to be given to the customer. Nothing. So, yeah. Sure. Done. Now, this was your outlay part. Again, remember, on which is to be outlay is to be calculated on the inflows and outflows, the real inflows and the real outflows. What is your real inflow? What is your real outflow that has happened on the due date? It is this that the interbank will come. I will have to purchase. I will have to spot sale. And that's how the whole transaction will happen. Got it? Done. Next. New contract rate. Tell me, what is the new contract rate? So see, what they have said that he will come on 10th June and ask for an extension. Okay, he will come on 13th June and ask for an extension for one month. So one month extension will be how much? One month, no? Extension with due date on 10th August. So till August. So 13th June, he will come to 13th August. Okay. Because he has come on 13th June. So two months extension will be how much? It will be 13th August. So here. Now, what does he want? He wants a forward purchase. Go to the original part. He wants a forward buy. So if he wants to buy, bank will sell. Bank will sell at ask rate. Bank will sell at ask rate. So what is the ask rate? Yes, it is 64.25. Done? Done. So let's start. So new contract rate for extension period. So 13th June he comes to 13th August. Chalo. So now new contract rate will be for the original thing. What was the original thing? Original thing was importer. So he wants to purchase. So purchase. He will do a forward purchase two months. Forward purchase for two months. If he are purchasing Bank is selling at ask rate at, okay, tell me what is the ask rate 64.25. Okay, now remember, you are purchasing, margin is to be added. Got it. So, it will be. 64.25 since customer forward purchase so margin added at 0.1% margin Okay, now we will have to round it off. Round off, tell me. So 64.3142, rounded off to 50, correct. 64.3150, got it. 
got it done so this is your new contract rate this is your new contract rate i hope we are clear now finally total cost now we have to calculate the total cost calculation of total cost so i think we are almost done cancellation charges are there swap loss is there then there is this interest on outlay anything else is there or what 96 swap loss 30000 swap loss 30000 and then we have the cancellation charges 156500 so it will be 1 156500 plus 30096 so it will be 186596 correct Done. 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 Any doubts? Please ask. Okay, and with this we complete the most important question and the concept. Now there are very high chances that you would have got diverted with such a big sum. There are very high chances that you know part of it you would have understood, part you wouldn't have understood. There are very high chances that. you just need a quick recap from my end so i will definitely do it you don't have to worry at all guys because yes this is a question which requires a lot of brains so it may happen that you would have you know missed some part of it chalo let's do it again but first write it down ensure that everything is written so that now i will quickly revise it and will be done and dusted and then you can refer the magic book guys all the things that we have discussed here are there in the magic book all the things so probably that will also be a very very big help to you guys see this is the magic book so all the things delivery if delivery on due date what is to be done if early delivery swap difference interest on outlay of funds what is swap difference again that also i have explained it to you here then cancellation in cancellation there is going to be exchange difference in extension cancel like cancellation then book new contract that is how the system works then there was a question where people asked that sir what about the gain in cases of loss in case of automatic cancellation losses are recovered from the customer profit bank keeps it with itself and does not give to customer all other cases gain or loss will be borne by the customer in one case there was a fixed flat charges so that also has been written here done 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 now pay attention Sure. Now I am explaining the whole question again. Everybody, please focus. Okay. On tenth April, customer comes for a forward buy. I am the bank. I give him the forward buy. So basically, if he wants a forward buy, I am selling him. 
I will take another forward buy with another interbank transaction. On 10th June, he does not come. So what will happen? I will have to honor the interbank commitment. So I honor the interbank commitment. How? By purchasing the forward buy. But what do I do of this one lakh dollar? So I will immediately sell it. I will immediately sell it. So spot sell. But what if the customer comes within these three days? What if the customer comes within these three days? Then what will happen? I will have to honor him. So I will do a forward purchase for those three days. Now whenever he wants to come, he can come. I have a backup with me. Done. Done, 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 sir. So that is your swap loss. Okay. Cover is taken. Now as per Fadai, he comes on 13th June. We will have to honor him. If he comes and tells honor, no. He says that I want extension. On 13th June, when he comes for extension, basically he is telling that on 13th June, I want to cancel the current contract. In case of cancellation of current contract, what do you do? You assume that the transaction has taken place. So two months forward, buy was there. So buy, he will buy. Customer will buy. He will have to buy. But he does not want it right now. He will have to spot sell. So that is where we started with our first thing that customer's open contract will be cancelled by offsetting with opposite contract and that is spot sell. That is spot sell. Are you clear everybody? Guys, I am asking you, are you clear with this? I will go step by step. Rushank, please confirm, are you clear? Right? So, spot sell is your cancellation rate. Okay. Then, forward buy cancellation rate. Think from the angle of the customer. What is his cancellation charges basically? 156,500. We have the rates. Remember to round off the rates close to 0025. So, it could be 25507510. Next, cancellation charges is done. Then we have the swap loss. So now here we have the swap loss. Customer did not come on 10th June. As a result, I had to spot sell and forward purchase. That will result into a swap loss. Then interest on outlay of funds. So what has happened? Uh, what has happened? Real cash inflow and real cash outflow. As a result of that, money got stuck. Right? So what is happening? Purchase forward and spot sell on the due date, on the due date. So that is where my money got stuck because I had to do this because the customer did not come. Because the customer did not come, I had to do this transaction, real transaction, purchase, sale, this real transaction I had to do. So yeah, that happened. Got it? So that was a swap loss. That was a swap loss. Sorry, that was an interest on outlay of funds. And then finally, the new contract that was pretty easy. That was from 13th June to 13th August. Sure. With this, we complete the whole concept of fate of forward contracts. Nice session. Nice brainstorming. I hope we are now totally totally clear with all of this anything else you want let me know you can drop me a whatsapp if any doubts will be happy to help you can tell me how was the session we'll be happy to know from you and anything else that you want Chalo. bye bye thank you keep smiling take care see you all in the next session